Hey guys, today we're gonna to be reviewing Jimmy Choo's latest fragrance, Illicit. And uh, this came about like two weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. I know that Jimmy Choo has two other fragrances, which are Flash and the original Jimmy Choo, which comes in the pink bottle. Um, it's a pretty good fragrance, so let's get into it. Mwah. So the box is pretty nice. It kind of has like this texture to it. It's kind of embossed print all over it. And the front says Jimmy Choo, so it's inside. It opens up just like this. <laughs> a little bit difficult to open, but it's getting there. It's a very beautiful bottle. It kind of has like this jaggedness as well, this embossed jaggedness around it. It says Jimmy Choo right here and illicit at the bottom. It kind of reminds me like of a city, like buildings going throughout a bottle and like just city lights and the goldenness of it all. Let's talk about the fragrance. Now, Anflipo designed this to be totally risk-taking, totally in control, really seductive fragrance, and it's pretty much a floral oriental fragrance, and if you guys don't know, in the Michael Edwards wheel of fragrances, that kind of category falls into like a very floral and oriental fusion. Very floral, very fresh, and very sweet notes combined to make this. Now, the composition composes of top notes of ginger and bitter orange, the heart note consists of floral notes of rose and jasmine, and the base is made up of sandalwood and this honey amber decor that kind of like this whole fragrance revolves around and pretty much stands out throughout the whole fragrance. But of the three notes that stand out totally amongst the most are the rose, the bitter orange, and predominantly throughout this whole fragrance, as I'm smelling it, is the honeyed amber. And guess what? You guys are in luck today again because I have all those lovely notes right here. I have the honey, I have the bitter orange, and I have the roses. Now let's start off with the weakest note of the three, which is the bitter orange. Now this is paired with ginger, but on the top note, I definitely smell this the most. It's not a sweet orange, it's what it implies. It is a bitter orange. It is. It does have like a certain fruitiness throughout the fragrance, and this is pretty much it, but it's just the initial blast. You hardly smell this throughout the fragrance later on. Next note that I'm going to talk about is rose. I'm trying not to thorn myself here because these are fresh roses. And you do smell it. And you know what? It's kind of a, a rose. It's similar to those roses they mix to oat wood. And it's there. It actually, it envelops throughout the whole, whole fragrance throughout the whole day because I wore this yesterday. And I could smell rose, but it's very faint, but predominantly rose and jasmine are in the heart note, but it's mostly taken over by this guy right here, honey. And if you guys don't think this is honey, blam. I just poured it in here because I thought it'd be nicer to be in a cup, but yeah, pretty much it's honey. And you smell that, you just smell honey. And it's a very sweet honey, it's not, a honey note that's kind of like raw honey. It's more of a sugary honey that envelops throughout the whole fragrance. And it pretty much just kind of binds everything together. The stickiness just kind of grabs the rose and grabs the orange and kind of just binds it all together to make it this very like beautiful kind of a fragrance. So if you're really into honey sweet notes with rose touches and the burst of orange at the beginning, this is a really perfect fragrance. It's more recommended for the fall, I would say that. As terms of sillage, it does have a medium sort of sillage, I would say. It doesn't spread as far and it's not as close, but it kind of has like, again, this whole kind of aura kind of a feel to it. In terms of longevity, it lasts about five to six hours. You will have to reapply it, but that's not all that bad. Um, I do love this fragrance. I enjoy it a lot, actually. I have plenty on my finger. I wonder if this tastes like that. I'm not gonna spray this in my mouth. I can see Alyssa being a really great fragrance for the fall. If you guys are into that, then try it out. See if you like it, see if you don't. Try everything you can. Now, this is the beautiful ad for the fragrance, which I believe shows Sky Ferreira. Ferreira, fellow Latina Sky. <laughs> Hola, Sky, como estas? I am Latino, in case you guys are wondering. So overall, this is a very beautiful fragrance. It is a true Florental. It's very fall. It's very beautiful, it's very addictive, it has a very gourmand quality to it, so if you're into that, go for it. Um, I would say this fragrance is wearable for any time, um, preferably daytime, but it's not bad for the nighttime, I would say. If you want to wear it at night, go ahead. There's no time for perfume, just wear it anytime you want. And yeah, just get into this fragrance, see if you like it, see if you don't, smell away, and yeah. 
Don't give a fuck. I'm Andrew. Stay fresh, stay clean, smell good, guys. <laughs>